Howdy everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Chronicle. I am the Black Shadow. Last time folks, uh, we had returned to the Rainbow Butterfly Wood of course uh, with Starkey in hand, beginning our quest for the four gems so we can achieve our Chrono Union at Kazarov Stonehenge. Uh, we have we have obtained one of those gems folks, the uh, the Earth Gem I believe it was, and the um, the Rainbow Butt by Wood, and we are now starting to proceed down the star path to the Ocean's Rules Cave, folks. Um, we just cleared only the one area so far, but uh, still um, two more to go before we reach the final destination. So we shall proceed onwards into the depths of the caves. Of course, I'm um, also playing around with weaponry still, uh, Monica has got um, her Fan Dabidozi Ruler Sword now, which is really, really good. Um, there we are. Oh, well, she would have it, but of course, I'm uh, working with the uh, Nurukumo first, because I want to, um, I want to uh, build, basically add that to the sword. But we've got to build this up first, but to do that, we need the Chronicle Sword, and to build the Chronicle Sword, we need to take out a Triple Crack and an Arthur which we haven't met yet, so we'll have uh, some fun and games with that, I'm sure. Uh, nah, be okay then, so, um, what was we doing with uh, Max, by the way? Ah, that's what we were doing. Getting both those stats ridiculously high. We couldn't remember! What's that? Oh no. Not... Oh no, not more of these. Badness. Paradise, they don't look particularly fun. Or Blackbeards. Particularly impressive foes, but yeah, those Paradise, they don't look particularly fun. Upgraded tanks. Ugh. Fat Naga, as opposed to the, um, the Slim Nagas that we may or may not have taken on later, um, earlier in this LP. Ow! Ha ha ha! Ooh! that stung. Is that a max, I think? Just a little boost there with the chestnut. Yeah, these things just don't look fun. Luckily, Max's uh, wrench is pretty effective against them. Ah, there we go. Bit of a diving lunge, but it will do. I have no idea whether that attack can cause um, petrify or anything like that. I imagine it's got some nasty status ailments um, connected with it. They generally do. Especially now at this point in the game, generally, they got nasty status ailments with them. Right, so let's just look at what we've got here. So, there's a whole host of red on the left side. So it was a good decision to come this way first. Clearly was a good decision to come this way first. Now I might have to um, put... I might have to put Max to the side um, in a moment though, because you know, put Monica on a little bit. That'd be an idea. Of course I do want to um, get this um, this wrench upgraded. Who have we um who have we got with us as a character? Lane. I might have her on so we can get this sword up to plus five, and then I, I might actually try bringing Cedric along, actually, folks, think about it. Um, just so we can get some extra points on the wrench, perhaps, because it, it could do a being upgraded a little bit, folks. Uh, Ooh, new stone piece, that's good. A coral dock. Okay. Max, get out of here, because the um, the Murakumo is going to be have absolutely ow have absolutely no effect on um, on that thing. Yeah, much more effective that. Ah. 
There we go. Oof. Bit of a nasty thing to fight that. Just trying to work out when it was attacking and when it wasn't attacking. It was being a bit tedious to say the least. Alright, who do I um, put on here? I'm thinking. Do you want to make use of this? Spot on. But it was still no health. Do need to remember to work on the bangle. Goodness sake, Shadow, you can never remember. I might well, I am awfully considering. Um. Uh, like leveling up, and I am all for considering using some of these level up powders because we can only carry up to 20 I assume, anyways. Come on, shoot your thing. There you are. Ha, <laughs> you missed. Pathetic. Oh, this is going to get nasty, folks. You can see this coming. Ah, that'll get him going. See that's annoying. That it's like it's, it's like a double attack. Oh, this thing's annoying. Shoot it dead. Ugh. Enjoying fighting that thing, I tell you. Very most tedious. We got glass anyways. Ooh, there's a healing point there itself. Whether that it's worth going down there first, uh, I'm not sure, but I got an idea. I think that might be a bit more uh, suitable for these things. Because these, I'm I'm not doing well fighting against these things at the moment. Steve may have better luck. Particularly fast, either way, but uh, at least it's being done without taking any significant damage. Oh, look at that, 240 experience. Not quite the mega bucks we'll see at the back end of the game, it's pretty good. There we go. Just, just a bit easier, a bit easier to work with folks than um, screwing around otherwise. Yeah, see, there's our gate. That's why I was just considering, do I, do I go down the other way first? Uh, we got the sphere to do, and obviously we don't know quite what that's going to take us, so... Uh, that's all fast. Whoa. Oh yeah, of course, need to hit it with the... Ouch! Need to hit it with the bomb to stun it, I forgot. Alright, alright, alright. I'll go down the bottom and get Max healed up. Ugh. I, kinda, I, I don't know if it's just me, folks. I, I do like how um, when they go to Star Paths, how they've got like these sort of. They're different, they're, they're sort of they're, like the, the butterfly forest sort of like glows dark, it's, it's darker. Here we've got like a little greenish sort of glow. I, I kind of like how it does that, it's like different, a slightly different palette from what you usually get. I, I quite approve of that, I think it makes a uh, nice change to be honest. Space in my inventory, I know that. I'll look at doing that when we get out of here. Oh, this should be decent. Alright, no, this thing's not got any uh, exorcism, does it? That's right. Yeah, I'm in I don't think it really cares. 
Oh, the speed. Oh, God. When we have... When I've got that ruler sword and beyond really properly powered up. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some entertainment. We're going to have some great entertainment with that thing. What are we doing? Is Norikuno up at five now? Four. Almost there, folks. Almost there. It's awfully tempting. Nah, we'll get Max to take do as much damage to the dog as I can. So annoying. Come on, you. Okay, turn your back on then, if you're feeling that cocky. Pay the ultimate price for that. We gotta keep ourselves in the same somehow, folks. Um, you know, I know, uh, unfortunately, you know, the past of a fair few videos or so, it's like, uh, I'll be really honest with you. I mean, um, with uh, when we did the Heimrader dungeon, admittedly, that is probably one of the big sort of dungeons that it is a little bit of a grind fest for all of Griffin's minions. Um, you know, we don't, you don't generally get that that much in this game, actually. Generally, you know, speaking, you know, we've had like a few stages, and then it's been. Um, sort of split up uh, with uh, yeah. other bits and pieces. So generally it's been alright. Does that not do damage? Yeah. Oh, well, would you believe it? It stuns it, but it doesn't do damage. That's off. Still hurts me if it's freaking delayed explosion damage. Rubbish. Which I do not approve of at all, folks. Believe me. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here, I am going to give Monica those, because I'm probably going to use these breads with Max. Finish off this last one here, the last coral dog. See, it's, it's hard to tell when it's attacking, when it's not attacking. See, oh, now it attacks! Oh. Not easy to tell the difference, folks. I swear it's not just me. All right, that takes care of you guys. Well, at either rate, that's the floor done. Uh, yeah, we'll move them over to see uh, what we've got here. Folks, hold on a second. The music doesn't sound right. Oh, hold on a second. Let me. Folks, I do apologise. The I don't think the audio on the game is coming through correctly. It's not sounding right at all. I don't know what's doing that. I can't work out. It just doesn't sound right. I'm not sure quite why it's doing it either. I do apologise for that, folks. Just I've just noticed, yeah, the music's not coming through at all right. I do apologise. Um, well, let me put it on, um... That doesn't sound right. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds completely wrong. What's going on with the audio? Is it just me? Is it just mine? I swear that doesn't sound at all right. I do apologise, folks. Um, I, I don't know if it's coming from your end, but I, I really am not. Uh, that does not sound at all correct to me. Doesn't sound at all right. So I do apologise for that. At any rate, folks, that is not a good shot. <laughs> oh dear, ugly, 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 ugly. How do you play this? You can't even play this with lots of top spin, can you, really? You always gotta land it on it and just hope you get a bit lucky. <laughs> a bit like that, just drop it all dead short. But all you can do, because you've got no bounce, you can't really move the, the speed, just land it at its feet. 
Yeah, folks, I say I apologize if the audio is not coming through too well. Um, here audio, I, I apologize, but it doesn't sound right to me. I've just noticed. Don't know what's causing that. Five treasure chest keys! Uh, not bad going. Yeah, it's not right at all, folks. That's, that's annoying, that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to put this thing in here, and I'm going to have a quick foot around and see what on earth is going on with the audio folks. So I will be but a couple moments, and hopefully when I get back, I'll have figured out what's going on wrong with this audio. Two seconds. Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, hello and welcome back. Um, I, I've played around with the audio a bit, and I, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I, maybe it's just cut on my end on the on the uh, my TV perhaps, but it just does not sound at all right, folks. There's, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I, I have no idea. But uh, whatever may or may not be going on, I can't seem to change it. So um, I'm just gonna have to carry on and ignore it for the next 20 minutes. Never mind, folks, because we. Oh my God, <laughs> Death Ocean. That that's not even remotely ominous sounding, folks. It is a red seal, which means that uh, we do not get any Maximilian or any Rypod in this level, folks. We are down to one lass and her sword. Oh joy. Red seal, no Max. Onwards we go. Well, I suppose if we want to get the um, this sword... Um, pretty much done, then I suppose we're going to get that done pretty quickly. It won't take long to get this baby leveled up. You're joking. You... You are joking me, right? Like, joking joking? Oh, man. That. That's a little heinous. Change of plan. Uh, yeah, what am I supposed to use here? Lightning? We have to throw something at it. Oh, that's pretty good. Throw magic at it. Oh, my goodness me. That's, um, that's, that's bad. That is not Monica friendly. One of the best of days it's not Monica friendly. Nor is that. Oh man, we are in a bit of bother here. Right, we're just gonna be throwing stuff this this level. Yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Ooh, block. Block. Oh, don't want to get hit by that, folks. That will... Oh, hideous damage. Oh, dear. Camera angle's not particularly helping. Ow. Oh man, how did we get ourselves into this mess? Oh really? Ooh. This isn't fair! Oh, this is highly anti-Monica! Don't know why I signed up for this. Oh dear. This is um, most unfortuitous. There we go. We're gonna have to just throw items at most of this and just finish it off. Oh, this is horrendous. How did I get dragged into this mess? Not too bad. 
I don't know what that Naga was just doing there, but it didn't look particularly nice. Come on, you! There we go. Right, slow and steady is going to be the way forward here, but thank goodness that is that. Level 5. 37 synthesis points! Oh my goodness me! Oh, I'm going to have a field day with that. But Ruler Sword coming on for the time being. Oh dear. 37 synthesis points. That is it. That's vile. Oh dear. Right, okay then, folks. Now let's push forward. Although we may not really want to, we kind of got no choice. Right, let's break into this one. Elements. Ooh, some bread. Bread never goes amiss. Lob that at them. Filthy thing. There we go, that's a bit more like it. More the sort of damage we're kind of used to. Uh, yeah. I mean, Monica has got the higher defense of the two, but currently she's got slightly less health, so. Ooh, health point. That I can work with. That could be very handy. Um, maybe not right now, but uh, certainly um, if I have to draw back to it, then that's fine. Can't believe the Murakumo. 37 to sip at this point. Well, the thing is, because it starts off as a high tier weapon. So it starts off with, um, well, I think it starts off with gaining six points as it is. Then you add the um, Malane to it, that makes it seven. Seven Simpsons points and level. I mean, that's, um, that is a horrendous amount. I mean, even the, the sword here is going to be getting quite a lot. Oh, boy. Good times. Ooh, that's our um, little bit on the side. We can go in there now. Don't see why not, considering what the map's just shown. Put in the lunar stone piece. Ooh, what's that behind there? Oh, bloody heck. Oh my goodness me, this place is a much nastier than I thought it was. Man, this is bad news, folks. Uh, finish it off with the bar band, please. I'm all for the um, points for the brassard at the moment. Ooh, that was a nice little back hit. Ow! Ow! Uh -huh. Another one, I think. There you go, Brassard gets a level. Like I said, I think I might just finish it off with level up power as I'm awfully tempted to. Right. How do we do this? We ain't gonna be able to pick one off. That was not effective. That wasn't effective, my goodness. Just throw stones at it. Ah! Ow, that hurt a lot. My goodness. Here's another one. I've killed it. But that came with cost. 60 damage! Ugh. Man, I really, really picked a bad day for this. This is a nasty seal. Finish off a facade. There we go. Don't 
Don't know why I did that, because I'm going to be up the level up powder, but never mind! <laughs> Jeepers creepers. Oh dear. And, and we thought this game... This game is, is just getting a bit... Oh, come on! Not another one! Please! What do I do to deserve this kind of treatment? It's got, this should be like a... There's got to be like a ruling or something against this, right? I'll throw a rock at it if it helps. Uh, 64 damage ain't that great. Freezes in its tracks! In its tracks, I say! I swear that thing's faster when it goes on. Oh no. Oh no, bad time to break. Should have looked. Didn't. Oh man. Oh, vile. Do not like that. Yeah, ban Max. I think pretty much every enemy we took on there is a Max enemy. That is nasty, nasty to do that. Do not approve. Well, we beat it anyways. That is, that is mean. That is, that is so mean. But we've uh, we've pushed through anyways through um well not pleasant that's for sure. Let's put that away. Got a, a case of sphere to do, which I'll quickly do on this on the screen as well. I don't know which direction is what. Four shots. So uh, we've actually this is not too hard. This we can see the path we got to go, and we got plenty of we got we got we got basically at least a spare shot on hand. So let's give us a good fair thump. Probably a bit hard, actually. Well, it's worked out. <laughs> it's not a bad result at all. And then just, uh, yeah, just um, hit it along into this little bit here. A little bit of backspin just to hold it um, tight. When it lands into the, assumably into the... Oh, that's not a good result. Wrong colour, of course, folks. But again, just do what you did last time. And just hit, just to kind of drop it at its feet. And so it should kind of hopefully bounce and then sort of get drawn into it. And of course, if you drop it short, then because the water, it just hit and it will stop anyway. So you can just, uh, just, just tap it in. Just tap it in. There's no point going full blast crazy at it, folks. There's absolutely no need. But that's awesome. That is all the sphere in um, actually in uh, in the ocean rock cave completed as well, folks, which is quite cool. Yeah, you see, look, level up powder. There's 17, folks. So, like I say, I'm probably gonna play around with that a little bit off screen. Um, unfortunately, I can't get off like Lynn to. Um, to join our party just so we can improve the uh, armbands a bit more as we go. We can't do that. We gotta do it the hard way. But at any rate, folks, let's put in the lunar stone we have in our possession so that we could move on to the last area. Chamber of the Sleeping Water Gym. Right, Sea Dragon wants to be the next contestant. We're gonna have to show him what for, folks, won't we? Let's put this full to bed. I don't think much of you, mate. Well, actually, you've got a fair amount of health. Ah! 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 That wasn't fun. 
you cheeky so-and-so. Who do you think you are, son? Some sort of clever git? No idea. Man, this guy's got some uh, bit of resilience here. I've, un I've clearly underestimated this guy. Ow, that was fast. Got him behind. Yeah, just run. Don't try and defend him doing this jumping thing. Just run, because he's fast as well. Look how quick he is. That is scary. It's meant to be a delay of some sort, but never mind. No, you don't. Oh, got him. What a shot there by Monica. What a shot to the side. That was a nice way to end that, folks. I tell you what, that guy put up more of a fight than the freaking tree did. Or oh, whatever the hell that name that guy was. Wrong button. Ugh. But at any rate, folks, two down, two to go. And I'll let Monica <gasps> grab it because she's the one who did all the hard work. Oh, yeah. What a gem. Come to Papa. Alright then, lovely folks. So, that is two gems of four. Just needing the last two folks, which means, of course, we're going to have to go to... Uh, let's get rid of these. Which means we are going to need to go to um, the uh, uh, Balance Valley. And for, for the uh, wind gem, and we'll need to go to Heimrada for the fire gem, which is probably where I'm going to be going next, folks. Um, call it a hunch. Um, I figured I'm probably going to leave Balance Valley to the end just because I have really bad memories of doing the star path in that place. I don't know why, but I just have really, really bad memories of doing the star path there. I don't know what it is, so, um, that being the case, that is probably where we're going to head next, folks. Um, but, uh, well, also, to be fair, that's also where I'm going to probably end the video as well, actually. With two gems down. It's pretty good going, to be fair. Do, 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 do. Oh, I miss the music in this place. Monica never took me up on that sand tan sand sun tanning idea, which is really depressing. Um, but yes, folks, we will make our way to um, to Heimrader, which I'm going to take on for the third star path. We're going to leave Balance Valley to the end. But we have got to. We only need two more par um, gems now. So we can clear two more paths so that we can uh, get hold of all four gems that we require for our Crota Union, folks. But uh, that will have to be next time, folks. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then.